Do you make excuses to put things off? If yes, then have you asked, why do I procrastinate so much? Why do I keep putting things off? Guys, we are all guilty of this nasty habit from time to time. So take this five minute test to find out why you procrastinate and how damaging it could be. The link is in the description. We all know this behavior hurts us, but we keep doing it. To win this battle, we must get to the root cause because without diagnosis, there is no treatment. So today I will share with you three questions for self-reflection to help you figure out why you keep putting things off. Turn off this video if this is not an issue for you. I salute you. You have won the ultimate war. As for the rest of us, the battle continues. So let's get started. Procrastination is a common human behavior. Friends, we are not alone in this. Some famous and very talented people have struggled with it. Leonardo da Vinci was notorious for starting projects but never finishing them. His famous art, the Mona Lisa, took many years to complete. The interesting thing about procrastination is, it is so easy to justify. We think one day I'm going to do that. One day I will get off the slouchy couch, go to gym, eat healthy, but not right now. One day I will get my finances in order to pay off that loan. One day I will brush up my resume to apply for that promotion. One day I will forgive that person who hurt me. One day I will stand up against that bully who makes me miserable. The list goes on and on. The problem is that one day never comes. We are always making excuses. I have discovered that the enemy that causes us to be disobedient is within us. The enemy deceives us into putting it off. We say, I have good intentions. But guys, good intentions don't equal obedience. Understanding the root cause of procrastination can help you identify strategies to overcome it. So you can be free of constantly feeling overwhelmed or feeling shame or guilt. You cannot overcome this nasty habit without understanding how the enemy within you gets in the way of your progress. Guys, there are many, many reasons why people procrastinate. In my coaching experience, I have observed that people know what they should be doing. They know right from wrong, but they lack the courage to do the right thing when it matters. Let me illustrate this point with an example. Sally was the president of a tertiary care hospital. Dr. Morgan was a surgeon in the hospital. Dr. Morgan was like a category five tornado, unpredictable, destructive, and out of control. He was creating havoc in the OR because of his bad condescending behavior towards others. Guys, the details are not important at this point, but it suffices to say what I heard was very disturbing. Morgan continued to make life miserable for others and many competent physicians and loyal staff who worked with him left because they could not take it anymore. The quality of surgical services the hospital was providing was severely compromised. The health system was losing revenue and reputation. This was going on for many, many years. Many years? Why did the president fail to act? You don't need an expert in ethics to know right from wrong. Guys, there is no lack of understanding on her part, but there was lack of courage. Moral courage is required to make tough decisions. Sally, the president, was frozen in her tracks because she lacked the moral courage to do the right thing. She was simply kicking the can down the road. Many of us do the same. We continue to get bullied because we lack the courage to confront the bully. We continue to stay mediocre 
because we don't have the courage to do that course or start that business we have been dreaming of. In this process, we disappoint ourselves and others. The question is, are you procrastinating because of lack of courage? If so, then think of the responsibility you have. Think of the consequences of not showing up with courage. Guys, another common reason for procrastination is fear of failure. A very good friend of mine is still single at age 55. He dated many awesome girls. Many of them were truly worthy of lifelong companionship, but he never proposed to any one of them. Why? Because what if he got rejected? He was the procrastinating boyfriend who could never become a husband. Another story. A very capable physician kept accumulating accolades to beef up his resume, but passed on several opportunities to go up for promotion. Why? Because of fear of failure. What would others think of him if he failed to receive the promotion? Fear of failure can be a heavy weight to bear. So let me ask you, is fear of failure causing you to procrastinate? People often put off tasks because they are afraid that they will not be able to complete them successfully or meet their own expectations. So let's move on to another reason. Another common reason for procrastination is our own tendency to be perfect. Meaning putting off tasks out of the fear of not being able to complete with perfection. Guys, perfectionism and fear of failure are intimately linked. You put off a task because you need to be perfect. Then you get overwhelmed by feeling of inadequacy and you never pull the trigger. You get out of a meeting full of ideas and energy about what project you're going to do next. You commit to a deadline for a proposal. As the date looms closer, something changes. You want it to be amazing, fantastic, flawless. You convince yourself to do more research, gather more data so it can be really good. The end result, the project never sees the light of the day. Are you a perfectionist? In her book, The Gifts of Imperfection, Brene Brown defines perfectionism as a self-destructive and addictive habit. If I do everything perfectly, I can avoid failure, judgment and shame. Guys, this tendency severely limits you, robs you of growth opportunities. Perfectionism is particularly common in physicians. That doctor is such a perfectionist. She doesn't miss a thing. She is amazing. The desire to be perfect is the number one cause of the imposter phenomenon. Imposterism further fuels procrastination. A physician I coached took a long time to complete patient's charts because of his obsession with perfectionism. Putting off this task created hundreds of incomplete charts, caused him tremendous anxiety and stress. You know, he almost lost his job for this reason. This desire to do everything perfectly is also a major cause of burnout. All right, guys, let's move on to the third reason why you may procrastinate. Do you get stuck because you don't see the benefit of getting the task done? Motivation is either intrinsic or extrinsic. Is there a lack of internal drive because you don't see any personal satisfaction, enjoyment and fulfillment? Sometimes there is no motivation because you don't see how your action, how getting it done will benefit others or if there will be financial gain or a prize or promotion. Without motivation, it is tough to move forward. Taking on work that is not in alignment with your values and goals will leave you demotivated. You will experience insurmountable mental roadblock. Guys, when you find yourself making excuses, reflect. If your behavior is due to 
lack of courage or perfectionism or lack of motivation or all of the above. Try to understand how the enemy within you is derailing you. This understanding will be a significant step in winning this war. So please share with me your challenges and victories in this regard. I would love to hear your stories. I have a video coming up on strategies to overcome procrastination. So stay tuned. Guys, don't let the enemy keep you from your best life. Let your inner leader shine. You deserve an epic life. Take charge and be victorious. Thank you.